What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pete from the basement here with another exclusive scoop for my boy Mikey Nuke Sutton. First of all, I want to thank Superhero Buzz for hosting the first part of this scoop. Now, whilst I take my shot of whiskey from my unstoppable comic shot glass, let's see what our boy Mikey's got to say about Richard Ryder. According to Mikey and his inside sources, Captain Marvel is about to be introduced to the human rocket. Richard Ryder has apparently been training with Nick Fury as part of S.W.O.R.D. the entire time. Now, last we saw of Nick Fury, remember, he was in a floating space station at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, which can only be S.W.O.R.D. And with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ending, it stands to reason that S.W.O.R.D. will eventually take its place. Now, details are vague right now, as development is still very early, but the current plan is to either introduce Richard Ryder or at least mention him in Captain Marvel 2 to set up a larger role for him in the MCU. Mikey's sources confirm that Richard Ryder is the version of Nova that will be used and casting will be in the age range of Tom Holland's Spider-Man as the two will become friends later on. Signed sincerely, you'll fly in the ointment, Mikey Sutton. Now, what can we take from this? Uh, several things. First of all, Nova... Finally, finally, we have been planning and waiting impatiently on Nova since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. We thought we were going to get him then when they introduced Xandar and the Nova Corps. We especially thought we were going to get him in Infinity War when it was put forth from Thor that Thanos laid waste to Xandar. Thanos already has the Power Stone because he stole it last week. He decimated Xander. We thought we were going to get that scene. We didn't. It was supposedly a deleted scene. Uh, we don't know. We never saw it. They never bothered to put it on the Blu-ray because, hey, frig us, right? Well, would've, I would have watched a three and a half hour Infinity War. I know you probably would have too. I would have liked to see the destruction of Xandar and the one remaining... Nova, Richard Ryder, or have the helmet, a la Green Lantern Ring, go and find him, or whatever, you know, powered by the, the Nova world mind. Anything. And it was even revealed by the writers of Infinity War that they originally planned to put Nova in the movie. But they decided against it because it was just too much with you losing, losing all the characters dying and whatnot, and then they got to introduce a whole new character to you. It was just going to be too much. I get that. So here we are, after Endgame, fast forward five years later, and we're finally going to get Nova. But it's still going to be another year or so, because we got to wait for Captain Marvel 2, and maybe then some after that. Uh, some of us were probably hoping for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 for Nova to make his appearance. We don't know. Uh, some of us were hoping for probably Thor Love and Thunder since Thor was teamed up with the Guardians of the Galaxy and traveling off into space. But realistically, Thor Love and Thunder is out before Guardians 3. Guardians 3 hasn't even officially been uh, put on the docket yet because James Gunn is still finishing off Suicide Squad or, you know, whatever else he's doing. So they're probably just going to drop Thor off somewhere and then go on about their business. So any hopes of seeing a team up for a prolonged period of time, probably out of the question. You'll probably get one battle scene and that's that. Uh, either way, we, we got a while to wait for Nova, but at least we know he's coming. Kevin Feige has said that he's coming, and we're all pretty much just waiting very impatiently. Originally, the idea was for Nova to take the place of Silver Surfer in Infinity War, where we know Hulk took his place when he crashed through the Sanctum Sanctorum. Either way, Richard Ryder is finally coming at some point, and this opens a whole cosmic world for Marvel, whether it's the Cancerverse, whether it's the Annihilators, fingers crossed. It could be a lot of different things. I'm looking really forward to it. And the other thing that we can take from this information is that we're probably going to get a bit of a mix between our regular Richard Ryder and the Sam Alexander Nova. If casting is going to be in the range of Tom Holland, and Tom Holland is, I think he's about 24 years old, and he's playing a teenager because he looks st super young. So let's say this is... In the future, after Captain Marvel 2, we've had Spider-Man 3, however other many 
movies or whatever else comes in the interim. Let's say Spidey's in college by then. So he's between 18 and 21. So we get a young buck to play Richard Ryder. Now Richard Ryder's like probably around early 30s in the comics or whatever. But now we're going to de-age him to match up with Spidey. So therein lies your mix between the Sam Alexander, Juvenile Nova, and the Richard Ryder that we all know and love. Uh, I still think this could work. I surprisingly enjoyed the Sam Alexander Nova series. And either way, we're finally going to get the human rocket on the big screen. That's what matters. And I think it's going to be friggin' awesome. So thank you to Mikey. Thank you to Superhero Buzz for the scoops. I'm going to pour myself another shot. Let us know what you thought of this video. If you really dug it, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell while you're at it, because you don't want to miss a minute of all of the crazy basement stuff that we have in store. It's season 13 of The Basement. We can't believe we've been going this long. One of the longest running comic book review shows on YouTube. We got a lot of fun coming at you, and we hope you stick around for it. Live shows every Thursday on Facebook and Periscope. New episodes hit YouTube every Tuesday. We'll see you then. Salud. Pete's Basement is copyrighted 2020. Ripped Productions. All rights reserved. So go fuck yourself.